Hi, welcome to John's Gaming and Tech. So we have a fun one today. And uh, we're going to get started with Verpal has announced now you guys can actually pre-order. We could all pre-order items. So instead of waiting for them to post that they have availability and everybody rushing to get stuff ordered, you can now pre-order your items and not play the whole restocking game. So in creating a pre-order, you will not be charged up front. You'll see an authorization or pending, um, and it goes away after 7 to 14 days. So be mindful of that. Whenever you do a pre-order, you'll get a pre-authorization charge, and then you will get charged once they ship out your item or once they get your item to ship. And you can have to use Stripe to pay with. That's not a big deal. I'll link a, I'll put a link in the description below to this if you guys want to read through it. And um, right here, around two weeks before your order is due to ship, your payment will be charged and you'll receive an invoice. So about two weeks before they ship it out, you will be charged. You can... One more thing I wanted to touch on, pre-orders, there is, I know I read in here, pre-orders can be canceled anytime before dispatch. So if you guys are tired of waiting or um, just want to cancel your order, you can cancel it before the item is dispatched. So I'll put a link down below for this so you guys can take a look at it, but this is awesome, awesome, awesome. So if we jump over to the store... We'll just go throttles and you can see we now have a pre-order option instead of out of stock. So awesome. Good job. Good job, Verbal. So now we can get to the fun part of this video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your curves. So I set my throttle up to where I have a switch for my afterburners at 80%. It seems like most of the U.S. aircraft on DCS at 80%, the afterburner kicks in and ran into an issue where you jump into a MIG or a Russian. I know the MIGs for sure. I'm sure there's a bunch of them that do that, but the afterburner's at a different rate. So I'm going to show you guys a real super simple, easy way that I do it. So stay tuned and we'll get started on that right after this. All right, welcome back. So here we are in the MiG-29, MiG-29A, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So after burners on this one, I do have my, my throttles currently set to where if I was in a F-16, F-18, F-15, um, at 80%, the after burners kick in. So that's 80% on here. And then if I go full afterburner, so after that's full afterburner with my switch. Um, I've already done a video on how to do your virtual detents. I will link that down below. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, you can watch that and see how to set that up. A couple different options on that. So now what we're going to do is set up to where our afterburner detent will work. And this should work with... Um, so if you have the Thrustmaster Warthog with the physical detents, this should also work for that uh, to set it up. So real simple, we're going to go into settings, adjust controls, axi commands. We're going to go to tune. Now you, anytime you're 
using this you with your throttle you want sliders checked and for me i had to invert mine um, they were working backwards no big deal so now all we're going to do is i'm going to add a curve to it we'll start at 10 on each one i'll go to 10 on this one okay okay now let's try it out so you can see now um, a lot less there on the afterburner. So we got to add a little bit more. Adjust controls. Axis. Oop, not axis sign, axis command. Let's go ahead and go up to 15. And 15. And let's see where that puts us. It still puts us in afterburner. We're getting close though. So now right. Right there is my 80%. You can still have just a little afterburner. So let's go to tune it up a little more. Let's go ahead and go to 19. You just want to keep playing with this until you get it just right. Um, definitely want to match your left and right throttles or your plane will be flying funky. Okay, so at 19, we just barely have it. So I think we can go to 20 or 21. I'm going to go 21 to be safe. And, oh, 20. Come on. Well, we'll try 20. And 20. Okay. So now, nope. Looks like 21, oh, oh man, wrong button, wrong button. So we'll go one more time here. Tune, 21, you can also just go 21. I guess that's a little easier. And let's see where that puts us. Okay, there we have it. Okay, so now with my switch flip down, so I am in non-afterburner mode. I give it full throttle. Let's go inside so you guys can see the throttle down here. So that's zero throttle. And we can go full throttle. It locks it out at about 50 now. And then if we flip afterburner on, there you go. Now we can actually fly with our afterburners. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like for more videos just like this. Um, any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll help you guys out. That's just the quick and easy way to match your detents so you don't have to go in and keep resetting, resetting your Verbal software every time you want to play with a different jet. You can go in and just set it up at the time of setting your jet up. So hope you guys like this one and we'll talk to you later.